Over the past few weeks, the summer show season has well and truly got underway. We're here in the Three Shires field this weekend for four days worth of judging. Only thing missing is any sign of summer, but we've got our fingers crossed that we might see a little bit of sunshine over the course of the weekend. Welcome to Around the Dog World. This is Bath Championship Dog Show. This weekend, more than 8,000 dogs and owners all travel to Somerset for Bath Championship Dog Show, and just seven of them at the end of the weekend will be in Best in Show under Kari Wilberg, desperate to get their hands on this Best in Show trophy. But first, we need to take a look over the last couple of weeks at the biggest Best in Show winners. Back by popular demand, Di Johnson. It's been far too long, Di. Hello, Simon. Yeah, it's been a few times. It has. Um, <coughs> now, the, the next show after Welks are at our last programme was Birmingham National. Yes. Jeff Corrish, the best in yes. show judge, awarded it to a very familiar face, Oliver the Wire Fox yeah. Terrier. Yeah. Looking great. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's just, that's, is that his year now? And I think 12 best in shows. 12 best in shows yes. in just over a year. Yeah. yeah, nobody's arguing. He's a great dog. <laughs> yeah. Now, we often hear unsporting behaviour getting yeah. branded around in the sport, but at Birmingham, Birmingham National is a very Will. sporting mm. event. Hound group yeah. winner Will Croxford, yeah. his Norwegian Elkhound, withdrew yeah. from Best in Show. Yes, because of his association, he's he's learning under Jeff. What a fortunate boy! <laughs> we all have time for Will. He's a very nice young man. Yeah. A week later, we travel across the border uh, up to Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Scottish Kennel Club, yeah. uh, and we saw history in the making. The first German Spitz yeah. Klein to yes. win a Best in Show. Yes, and she's lovely, isn't she? Yeah. She's called Genuine. Gen, <laughs> get it? Um, she's lovely. We've admired her all year. Very competent young handler on her, and what a thrill for them. Yeah. What a thrill for Peter Jolly, his first ever Best in Show, yes. and he can find something to make history with. Yes, um, and behind Champion Longsdale, Genuine, Best in yeah. Show winner, uh, a bit of karma. Will Croxford comes back, wins yeah. the Hound Group at SK. Yeah. again yeah. and this time comes out of best in show yeah. with a with now a isn't prize that card. lovely yeah. isn't that just wonderful and it is a particularly beautiful Norwegian elk hound nice result all round and we're, we're starting to see some informed dogs so we need to take a look at the top dog table for the first time this year and there will be no surprise leading the way is Oliver the wire fox terrier champion Travella striking steel with Eric champion Yaki U R Cantona the Pekingese a distant second but closely followed by another toy dog the smooth coat Chihuahua play Misty for me. Fourth and fifth is the reverse of the best in show and reserve at SKC with the Elk Hound Pearl and German Spitz Jen. Sixth is the Shiba Inu male at Vorman Jean-Paul Gautier. Followed by two of the group winners at Welks, Bull Mastiff Mac and Troy the Whippet. Ninth was the Crafts Working Group winner, Rottweiler Brandon. And rounding off the top ten is the Cardigan Corgi we also watched taking a group at Welks, Josseter Mr Blobby. Well, thank you very much for joining us at Bath this weekend, Di. Shame about the weather outside. Yeah, it is raining. Ho hopefully we see a little bit of an improvement over the course of the weekend. We'll okay. speak to you a little bit later. OK, lovely. First in the best in show ring is the toy group tonight, judged by Anne Horan. First, we have the Bichon Frise. The Chinese Crested. <laughs> the Japanese Chin. <laughs> now the Lao Chin. The Maltese. The Papillon. And the Pekingese. Who is going to be the winner of the Toy Group 214 
at Bath Championship Show. It's a Chinese crested. A Chinese crested number 414. Group 2, the Bichon Frise, number 27. Group 3, the Papillon, number 870. And Group 4, the Maltese. Could we have a round of applause for those leaving the ring, please? Thank you. Come on, give a round of applause, everyone. Well done, that's a fantastic win for me. Yeah. How many CCs is she on there? 45 now. And she's the breed CC record holder? She is, yeah. I think she's absolutely beautiful. She's everything you want in a Chinese crested. She's got that extra pizzazz that a lot don't have. <laughs> I gave her the reserve ticket from Puppy at Windsor. I followed her right from being a puppy and I think she's absolutely wonderful. It wasn't exactly the best day for toys, was it? It wasn't a good day for these, especially in the wet. They don't like their feet wet at all, no. You know, it's a shame when the owners have spent hours and hours and hours getting them ready. Yeah. And then it's a day like today. Uh, you've got a few days now to, until you come back. What's Mia doing between now and Just Monday? playing with the other dogs. Just, she'll just be running around like an idiot, really. <laughs> um, she's certainly got a, a fantastic personality, hasn't she? Yeah, she definitely has a personality in that ring. She loves every minute of it. And it's good for show dogs, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Another day, those dogs could all, all change places. That's how close they really are. That's right, everybody. Show your appreciation for these dogs, please. Now the Bedlington. The Border Terrier. The Wirehead Fox Terrier. The Manchester Terrier. The Norwich Terrier. The Sky Terrier. The Soft Coated Wheaton. I think a decision has been reached and the winner is the Sky Terrier, oh, number 1639, <laughs> group 2, the Border Terrier, which is number 1257, group 3, the Norwich Terrier, number 1556, and group 4, the Wirehead Fox Terrier, which is number 1403. And round to go, please. Well, Sue, congratulations. Last time we spoke to you, it was in the dark outside the NEC. Lampard on the end of the lead again. He's That's taken right. another group win. That's right. That's just his second group one, but he's got numerous twos, threes and fours. So for a Sky, that's a tremendous record. It's absolutely lovely to go over. It's got all the strength you want in the breed, along with the elegance. Mm. Its presentation is perfect. It's really well muscled uh, and it moves extremely well. He's got 21 cc's now and he's been Dog World Sky of the Year ever since he's been shown. And Lampard, it sort of gives it away. You're, you're a Chelsea fan? 
just a bit. Selena, the special one, is named after Jose. His pet name's Lampard, and we've got Drogba, Chelsea, and Mourinho at home. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, did you have any bank holiday plans? I was working, but I'm not now. <laughs> I think you said that last time as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm always working. I'm a dog groomer. It never finishes. Yeah. These are hardy terriers. Did you feel any of them suffered because of the weather? No, not remotely. I mean, everyone was beautifully presented. None of them were, were at all grubby. And they all showed and put on a really good performance. Welcome back to day two of Bath Championship Dog Show. After a brief appearance from the sunshine yesterday, we had glorious conditions for the end of the groups, but today has seen torrential downpours. But credit to Bath's show team, the showground is holding up remarkably well. But we have to get straight to the action from the main ring today. Valerie Foss picks her gun dog group winner. Down to see these dogs move again. First of all, the Weimarana. Come on, give them all some support. The flat coat. The Labrador. The English setter. The American Cocker Spaniel. The Hungarian Dijla. The Pointer. The German short haired pointer. The Gordon Setter. English Springer Spaniel. And the Cocker Spaniel. And the winner of the group is the Labrador Retriever. Well done. Number 3268. Group 2, the German Shorthead Pointer. Number 2058. Group 3, the English Springer Spaniel. 3536. And Group 4. The Hungarian Vishla, number 2216. Lap of honour, round to go.
Dan Taylor and Briar, you've just come out of the third group of the weekend at Bath. You are the group winner. How does that feel? I can't quite believe it, to be honest. <laughs> you look a little shocked. Yes, I am. I never expected anything like that. Winning the ticket was, you know, wonderful in itself. The yeah. best of breed. And, and now this. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Yes, the Labrador, lovely, typical Labrador. And I often feel in groups that Labradors are not done as well as they should be done because people seem to expect them to move like <laughs> trains, which they're not supposed yeah. to. You know, they're a steady gun dog. Lovely dog, very typey. But Briar is not just a show champion, she's, she's also a working dog as well. Yes, she works all winter. Most, well, all my dogs work. Yeah. Um, I think a Labrador should do. They are a working breed and they should have something to do and enjoy it as well, probably and more than the shows. It must be fantastic to put through a Labrador because they have such huge entries as yes, well. Because to, to win over entries like that, it really is an achievement, yeah. And she is actually a full champion. So, full she, champion. so what does that mean exactly? Uh, they have to take a, a basic test in the abilities mm of a working gun dog and not have any faults such as squeaking and gun shyness right. um, which she's done and she also did a working gun dog certificate as well which is a more advanced version well best of luck and we'll see you in best in show okay thank you very much thank you Welcome back to Bath on day three. It's a glorious sunny day, finally. We're welcoming back Di Johnson as well. Thank you. Let's talk about the first two days of Bath. Yeah. Toy Group and Terrier Group were on day one. Champion Debrita Diaz, Chinese Crested, yeah. takes another group win. Yes, so 44 tickets, I think. Incredible. But yeah, she is something special. She's particularly a great show girl, isn't she? Yes. Loves yes. the show ring. Uh, Halfway there. Another special dog, Selena the special one, Sky Terrier, yeah. wins the Terrier. Yeah, and one they're in the group at Crufts a couple of years back. Lovely long, low level top line, exactly where they're meant to be. You don't often see Skies competing at the top level? No, you don't. We did years ago, um, but they're a breed that has fallen out of favour a bit. And we, we move on to, to day two. Mm -hmm. uh, Val Fox yes. was the judge of the Gundog yeah. group and yeah. gave it to a Labrador. Yeah. Now that's interesting, because that black Labrador is oozing breed type. That is what the old specialist Labrador judges would go for, and Val is exactly that. Sorry about the old Val, but she'll know exactly what I mean, and I understand <laughs> that would appeal. appeal. Yes, yeah, real typey, good body. And we're here on day three, and finally we see some sunshine. And deserved, isn't it? The work this society put in, the sun's shining on us righteous now. And quite righteously, we head straight into the main ring tonight for the working group, judged by Kari Wilbur. First to move is the boxer. <laughs> People Mastin. The Doberman. The Great Dane. The Newfoundland. The Portuguese water dog. The Rottweiler. And the Siberian Husky.
Well, Josh, that's a third group with Misev. How do you feel? Unbelievable. To go into a group, you know, it's his, his third attempt at a group and he's won three groups. It's that's a phenomenal record. record. Yeah, it is. Three out of three? Yeah. Wow. Um, now, Tracy, how does it feel to, to see Josh running around the ring with Misev? Just brilliant. Love it. Because Josh makes such a good hand, job of handling him. Makes him look really good. Yeah. I mean, he's a good dog, but Josh makes him look even better. And we, we spoke to you at Bournemouth last year, but, but for those who didn't see, tell us a little bit about Seb. Well, Seb was imported from Poland, um, got him as a 12-week-old puppy and then spent 10 months in France. Right. And so came in, he was a late developer, but he's done really well. He's certainly developed enough now. <laughs> yes, he has. Uh, what, what are his plans for, for the rest of 2014? Well, we're hoping to just chase more tickets, try and get top dog, we'll see what we can do. And Josh, with that sort of record in the group ring, he must be a fantastic dog to show. He is, he's a great dog to show, he's got a great attitude and when he goes into the big ring, he just performs and he, he takes it up a notch. And he, he gathers the ground up pretty quickly. He does, yes, <laughs> he does, you need to have long legs to keep up with him. <laughs> well, congratulations and we'll see you on uh, Bank Holiday Monday. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure we're going to see all of these dogs move again, so show your support to them all, not just one, but all of them. First, we have the Bearded Collie. <laughs> now we have the Border Collie. <laughs> now the German Shepherd. The Norwegian Boohan. <laughs> Polish Lowland Sheepdog. <laughs> the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Sheepdog. <laughs> the Shetland Sheepdog. <laughs> and the final dog to move in the group is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The winner is the German Shepherd. <laughs> Group two is the Polish Lowland. Group three, the Shetland Sheepdog. And group four, the Pyrenean Sheepdog. Congratulations to those, and please a round of applause to those leaving the ring. And if you could take them on a lap of honour, please. Well done to everyone. And Congratulations, Steve and Imi. It sounds like you've had a rather successful weekend. We've had a great weekend. We was in Newcastle yesterday. Um, we're at a breed show which we won um, and then obviously 10 hour drive back here for this show with this bitch so yeah it's been a very tiring but successful weekend now worthwhile i judged her a year ago at blackpool in the group shortlisted her today she looked absolutely stunning a year had made such a difference to her 
I think she's a world-class bitch. We've, we've seen you over the past few years with Elmo, crossed best of breed this year. Um, is Emmy any relation? Uh, Emmy is a direct daughter from Elmo. Right. Um, so hoping she can go on with the same success. You know, honestly, if you look at her in the ring, she has the same um, qualities like the father. You know, the presentation in the ring is great. The anatomy of the female, the pigmentation, the soundness of the female. So she demonstrates everything that Elmo stands for. So it, she's a great representation of Elmo and very much like the father. And I remember last year, there was a beautiful picture taken of Elmo with the Best in Show here. trophy here yeah. last year. That's right, here. So it's, it's, it's a lucky show so far for us. Got to hope for her to do the same this year. Well, I'm a bit split because <laughs> my best to read Doberman won the working group. Oh, wow. So I'm going to be pulled into a direction. A very good day for you. <laughs> Absolutely excellent day for me. Well, the best, best of luck for them both tomorrow. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Around the Dog World at Bath Championship Dog Show, a show of two halves. We've had two days of rain and two days of sunshine. Uh, before we get on to day four's action, we need to look at day three. Working in pastoral group was yesterday, Di. Uh, first in the ring, working group uh, yeah. won by a very well supported Doberman. Yes, exciting Doberman. A Polish import, he's called Sebastian. Um, he's a very handsome dog and handled very well by young Josh Henderson. Second generation dog man. His father's a very famous breeder and handler in Ireland. Yeah. So good to see, good to see kids coming on. Um, no, I thought the Dobe took a lot of people's breath away. Yeah. A lot of applause. Um, and he's, he's named after Sebastian Vettel, Formula One driver. He did far better than Sebastian yesterday. I was, I was quite happy with that anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, and second in the ring was the pastoral group. Yes. Um, and that went to another very well supported dog, the yeah. German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. German Shepherds, a good one, will always like the audience, won't they? <laughs> Another good handler, young man who knows how to use the ring <laughs> to advantage. Yes. And uh, yes, it was a good day, wasn't it? It was. We were it so was. relieved the weather was better. This is a great show, but like any show, you need the weather. Yeah, and we've, we've certainly got it today. Yes, it's very nice today. So we'll head straight into the main ring tonight. First being judged is the utility group. First move will be the Akita. <laughs> then the Boston Terrier. <laughs> the Chow. The Shiba Inu. The Laza Apsa. The Standard Poodle. The Shih Tzu. Yeah. And the final dog to move is the Tibetan Terrier. I think we're ready for the boards. A decision has been made.
Well, Neil, congratulations. You took Jagger in there. Did you expect to come out with a group win? Uh, not really, because he's, <laughs> he's still quite a youngster. He's only uh, 15 and a half months old, so he's up against a lot of uh, much more experienced dogs. Yeah. But uh, he is very special, I think, so hopefully it'll be first of many. Oh, he's absolutely fantastic. He's so sound, well balanced. He's got really good breed points. He's got lovely big feet um, and he covers the ground so well. And he's got a lot of class, elegance about that dog. Yeah. And, I, and he's only young. I think he's going to be a star. What winning has he done before before the group? Today? Um, because he's quite young, he's he's, uh, he's on. This was his second CC. Uh, he's got a reserve CC, and he's been placed in two puppy groups when he was a baby. Uh, so that's it so far. Hopefully, we'll get our third and become a champion soon. Tibetan terriers always seem to have a, a bit of extra appeal. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I, I happen, happen to own a Tibetan Terrier that won Crufts in 2007, who was called Fabulous Willie, and yeah. that, that uh, set the tone for myself. And, uh, yeah, they, they have a bit of an X factor, they I think, do, to be quite they honest. Do. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's there. Um, um, that was your second group today, is that right? Um, the second time I've judged at group level, yes, and I absolutely love it. It's so exciting. You don't know what <laughs> you're going to find. Now, tell us what your plan is between now and the group. You've got half an hour or so for best in show, sorry. What are you doing now? Uh, phoning home to say I'm going to be late, uh, <laughs> probably have a quick swift drink because I'm yeah. parched but uh, then really let him relax again because it's quite a big thing for a dog to, to perform like that and th then he's going to be up against the seven best dogs in the in the show really yeah. so he, he needs to relax so we'll put him in, he's got his sister here with him so he can go and sleep with her for five minutes. Fantastic. Well best of luck and we'll see you in about half an hour. hope so. First dog to move is the Afghan hound. The Bassett. The Petit Bassett Griffon Vendée. And the Beagle. The Smoothhead Dagson. The miniature wire Dachshund. Okay. The elk hunt. The Pharaoh Hound. <laughs> the Whippet. The winner of the Hound Group Bath 2014 is the Bassett Hound. Number 6983. Group 2 is the Elk Hound. Number 7626. Group 3 is the Eagle. Number 7180 and group four, the miniature wirehead Daxon, number 7453. Okay, can we have a lovely from you three?
Well, Phil, uh, Mario takes a group win. You don't often see a Bassett winning groups, do you? Uh, not had a Bassett win a group for a few years, actually. So, And with them being on the high-profile list, it's always nice to uh, have something nice in there. And Very satisfying. Exactly. It was completely sound from every direction. A really, really sound dog. And I think in the hand that's essential. Yes. Um, and Mario certainly moved well. I, I think uh, you swapped handlers mid-group there. We did. Um, Marita handled him in the uh, in the breed and she was in the puppy group as well. <laughs> so we had to toss a coin. Um, but I say we did swap halfway through. I mean, she just gets that little bit more out of him and can yeah. keep up with him. But he's got such a stride on him. Plus, you can't actually get a better handler than Marita, really, to swap with, can you? No, not really. <laughs> a couple of the best and she wins at Crafton all. Well, there we go. Yeah, I'm very fortunate but I mean she's <laughs> such a great person to have you know I mean she's brilliant with the Bassets and everybody remembers her for the Poodles and Afghans but she really has taken to the Bassets and she's a major part of this team I mean we, we just couldn't do anything without her I mean she is Bassets now. You've only got a couple of minutes uh, does Mary need a little rest now? Yeah he'll have a couple of minutes I mean Marita's I've just sent her back into the puppy <laughs> group now with another one she says no not again but um, no a couple of minutes he's fairly fit boy he'll soon pull around I think. So you've had a pretty good day then? Excellent day. Well, I'm sure you got your fingers crossed for an even better day. Yeah, um, no doubt there'll be nice seven group uh, winners there, so I'm happy with winning the Hound group. Anyway. Best of luck and, and a very well done. Okay, thank you, Simon. one from the Friday in the toy group was the Chinese Crested, the Sky Terrier, the Dumbo group, the Labrador, from yesterday Sunday from the working group was the Doberman, also yesterday from the pastoral group the German Shepherd, the Tibetan Terrier, and from the hand group today we have the Basset Hound. Um. And the first dog on the table from the toy group on Friday is the Chinese Crested, number 414. This is a bitch. The breed judge was Mr. M. Burns, and the toy group judge was Mrs. Anne Horan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese Crested. From the Terrier Group, also on Saturday, the Sky Terrier, number 1639, the dog. The breed judge was Mr. R. Corosi from the United States of America. And the group judge was Mr. Jeff Boswell. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sky Terrier. From the Gundog Group on Saturday, we had the Labrador, number 3268, a bitch. The breed judge was Mr. R. A. Floyd, and the Gundog Group judge was Mrs. Valerie Foss. Ladies and gentlemen, the Labrador Retriever. <laughs> On Sunday, from the working group, the Doberman, number 3953, the dog. The breed judge was Mr. Barry Croft, and the group judge was Mrs. Kay Doberman.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Doberman. Also from yesterday, the Pastoral Group, the German Shepherd, number 5174, the Bitch. The Breed Judge was Mrs. Parody Fionda. And the Pastoral Group was Mr. Barry Croft. Ladies and gentlemen, the German Shepherd. From today's group, the Utility Group, best in the group was the Tibetan Terrier, number 6834. The breed was judged by Mrs. Sue Whitehead, and the Utility Group was judged by Mrs. Wegman Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tibetan Terrier. Also from today's hound group, the Basset Hound number 6983. The breed judge was Mr. Martin Saunders, and the hound group judge was Dr. Monica Bozier Black. Ladies and gentlemen, the Basset Hound. A decision has been made. The boards are coming out. What is going to be Best in Show Bath 2014? It is the Doberman. Well done. The Doberman number 3953. The reserve best in show is the Sky Terrier. Best opposite sex is the German Shepherd. Give them all a round of applause. Well, it looks like Kari Welberg rather uh, appreciated. Seb, what do you make of Best in Show tonight? Fantastic. <laughs> really good job. It's got to be fantastic in there, Josh, with such a great support around the ring. Well, yeah, it is, and it's even more fantastic to have that sort of lineup as well, and not, you know, top dogs and so on to be competing against and win Best in Show over the top of them, and have a judge's opinion to think that your dog's a better one. It must be superb feeling being in there. What's it like standing on the outside of the ring, not being able to do anything about it, just having to rely on Josh? I'm totally nerve-wracking. I'm ill, my mouth is dry, I'm ready. Oh, I just don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm just so happy. You've, you've now won three groups and a best in show with Seb. That sort of bodes well for a, a superb career, doesn't it? Well, hopefully, yes. I mean, we took a chance bringing him into the country because he was docked and, yeah. you know, it was you buy a 12-week-old puppy and <laughs> you, you just hope for the best. And he's surpassed anything I could ever have dreamt of. As you say, you brought him in from Poland at 12 weeks. How old is he now? He's uh, four now. Okay. But he was actually a year old because he came before the pet passport changed. So he spent 10 months in France before he actually got into the country. So we had to wait a long time for him, but he was certainly worth the wait. You must be looking forward to the rest of the year with your hands on Seb. Yes, I am. He's a good dog to show. You know, when he goes into a big ring like that, he just knocks it up a step and, and really out moves. Well, congratulations, and I'm, I'm sure it's not the last we see of you. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Kari, you clearly very much like the Doberman. I loved it. From the moment it came into the working group till now, it's one of the best I've seen for many years. And now the last Best in Show winner that you picked went on to quite a sensational year. That was Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. Yes. You've got to hope for this one to do yes, the same. Yes, they both got their first Best in Show. Mm -hmm. I have actually given... Every time I judge Best in Show, I give them the first, and they ended up very good. Nora the Chinese Crested, Blackdale Carousel, yes. Wire Fox Terrier <laughs> Oliver. Yeah. That, that Dublin's got to be crossing his fingers now. Yes, I hope it'll win. I hope it'll win. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, to, take us a, across a critique of that, that Dublin. What are we going to see in the papers next week in your critique? 
I can't tell you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look up some good adjectives. <laughs> exactly what I really, really liked compared to a lot of the other Dobermans that have done well before, the head. Yeah. It's very, very nice head. And the Sky Terrier Reserve? Lovely, lovely Sky Terrier. Top lines sometimes can be better. I was taken with the shepherd going around, but I didn't really like him behind me. So, there you were. The best in show winner at Bath Championship Dog Show 2014 was champion Italo Elite House, the Doberman. What a fantastic, fantastic. win. Didn't he take over the big ring? I mean, that profile movement, just stunning. Well deserved. Well, the applause told us, didn't it? Yeah, well, we'll take a look at the groups first. With yeah. the, uh, utility and hounds yeah. this evening. And I uh, thought they were both interesting. Sorry to butt in, Simon, but I found it fascinating that both youngsters, I mean, that Tibetan Terrier only 15 months, and the Bassett just two, and they both were winning second CCs. Mm. Both looking good. And it's, it's quite something for a Bassett to be winning groups as well. It is, it is. And they had a Bassett puppy did well as well. Good yeah. kennel, you know. Been a good kennel for a lot of years. Um, and then we, of course, move into Best in Show. Yeah. Um, Carrie Wilberg judged the, the working group and she clearly had a thing for that Doberman. Yeah, she did. She was taken with it, wasn't she, all the way through. But it does knock your eye out. Really impressive dog. And a, a very good young handler, Josh Henderson, oh. doing, doing a fantastic yeah. job. Josh is outstanding. Yeah, he cares. He loves it. He's well taught. His father's a great handler. And weren't you impressed by the sky? Mm. A and not a breed that these days that is, is considered much, but I thought really looked lovely, that long level top line. And Bath show overall has run fantastically smoothly yeah. once yeah. you've got inside the entrance. They've done a fantastic job. They have, and they deserve credit. They couldn't help the rain on the first couple of days. <laughs> it's going to rain now on us, of course, but at least we've got through two good days. The atmosphere just completely changed. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, look at the showground now. It's in remarkable condition. Well done, Bath. We like your show. Very much so. Well done, Bath. And of course, well done to Seb, the Doberman. We'll no doubt be seeing him a little later on in the year. Thank you very much for watching and come back next time when we're at Windsor Championship Dog Show.